Dear students, what is the importance of 2,3-BPG or 2,3-bisphosphoglyceric acid in glycolysis? It happens only in the RBCs. It is also referred to as rapoport lubering shunt. Now, when will this shunt happen? When your body has enough amount of glucose and when the cells have enough amount of ATP, you don't have to depend on glycolysis as the regular pathway to produce all the ATP. So, the glycolysis can actually afford to take a detour to produce 2,3-BPG. Remember, every time the glycolysis goes through 2,3-BPG and comes back to form pyruvate, there will always be a deficiency of 1 ATP. It means to form the 2,3-BPG, you have to sacrifice 1 ATP. Now, if at all the cells are already devoid of glycolysis or there is enough amount of glucose not available, now your cells cannot actually go for 2,3-BPG shunt. Now, this can be applied in a laboratory principle. Whenever you inhibit glycolysis by using enolase, you are trying to collect the blood sample for measurement of glucose. Now, remember, whenever the blood is stored in the form of a stored blood, the 2,3-BPG shunt will actually not work because of which 2,3-BPG will fall. Now, this is a clinically important statement. 